Well, hello, good morning. I just wanted to see how everybody is. Missed ya. Um, oh, I just wanted to, you know, take the pulse on how everybody else feels about Justin Trudeau giving himself a raise. I just found out about it. I'm watching freaking House of Commons now. <laughs> yup, it's boring as balls, but you know what? It's very eye-opening. And our government is really fucked up right now. I'm so sorry to say, but liberals are like losing their shit. They're making us spend way too much money on groceries, gas, and everything else. The polluters need to pay the carbon tax, not the people. You're fucking crazy. You can't expect hardworking people to pay your fucking carbon tax when you it, people have allowed cruise ships to dump in our fucking oceans in our waterways it's disgusting like that should never ever be it should never be allowed and that's allowed so somebody approved it somebody in our government somebody said okay that's disgusting to me we need to protect our orcas we need to protect the wildlife we need to protect everything in our lives like it, it, you know, it could go to shithole any time now. It's it's very scary out there. But I, I just, I cannot believe that, you know, Justin Trudeau gave himself a raise when he's such an abysmal fucking leader. Like, are you crazy? How do you figure you, you deserve some more money? You guys get like, what, $200,000 or more a year pension once you leave politics? You're set, you motherfucker. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> I bet you got a great house. Um, you know, like, there's people, I'm in a better situation than a lot of people. I'm not gonna say what my situation just, you know, really is, except that I, I have a good place to live. It doesn't charge me a lot of rent. That's basically my only advantage. But it but it is an advantage and I'm so grateful to have it. I I love living where I live and there's some wonderful people and I, I've made great friends and there they're lovely moms around here too with all the kids, so it's pretty cool. But um oh, what was I gonna say? Uh, Oh my God. <laughs> ah, okay. I wanted to say, um, I'm, I'm really concerned and I wanted to know if you guys are really concerned because I think, I think everybody's on the same page on this. These uh, Palestinian protests are getting out of hand. I'm reminded of things I used to see when I was a kid growing up in like the 70s and 80s with the Ayatollah Khomeini and they got, you know, they just kill people that don't agree with them and they're coming over to our country and they're trying to take over and I know people think I'm crazy for saying that but uh, if, if it go comes to fruition, which I pray it never does, I don't want to be right. I just want to be prepared. I want Canadians to be prepared. I want them to be protected. I want us to be safe. Justin doesn't give a fuck about any of that kind of shit. He invited all kinds of other mouths to feed to come here. And now we're supposed to pay the tax. We're supposed to pay for migrants. We're supposed to pay, 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 pay. Are you kidding me? Like, I, I, I watched this guy, the angry Canadian yesterday. Like, he's right. You give yourself a fucking raise. That's where I heard this from. And you know what? It, it's disgusting. It, you were doing such a poor job. You should be fired, not give yourself a raise. And everybody gets a raise. And, you know, you get a raise and you get a raise. No, that's not fair. And there's people that are struggling and have really high rents. That's why I mentioned my feeling of I have a little bit of an advantage. But I don't monetarily because I'm on a fixed income. So it kind of balances out. You know what I mean? But thankfully, truly, thank you, Jesus, for that. Because I, I'd be in a shithole situation. I'd, be in, I'd have to live in a really scuzzy place. And, the, you know, bugs and everything else. Like, I, I've seen the stuff that's out there. And $900 won't even get you, like, a, a bachelor now. You have to pay, like, eleven, twelve hundred dollars $1,200 or more. Um, our gas has gone up. Everything's, everything's gone up. And and then, oh, my God, yeah. So this, <laughs> this was one thing I wanted to mention. The school food program in the morning. No, Justin, no. Because that means that you take the burden off the parents and place it on the government to feed our children. No, 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 no. I don't need your shit. Make Canada great again, which is another one I saw. He literally said in the House of Commons, we don't need to make Canada great again. What? Are you fucking kidding? Ow, I just hurt my finger when I was, I went, eh. 
<laughs> not my finger, but right here. Ow. Stupid. But I just, I cannot believe the shit that comes out of this guy's mouth. And, and a raise? Like, I, I just, I'm baffled that that's even a thing. You can vote yourself a raise? Okay, I vote that you're not the leader anymore, and P Pierre is, and Speaker of the House can go take a hot flying leap. Uh, there's a few people that just, oh, Christia Freeland, Christia Freeland, oh my fucking God, are you joking me with that budget? Oh my God. Our kids, children and children's children will owe the billions and trillions that he's spending that we have no cap on right now. He's, he's trying to kill our country. He, he's, he's invited all these people that hate us here and now he's taken our jobs. He's, he's, called us names, he's mandated shit, he's taken, taken money right out of people's bank accounts, like he's just turned into a fucking dictator from hell, and everybody's like, how is he a dictator? I get those comments when I leave the, the, he's a fucking dictator. How is he a dictator? How is he not? Um, the Emergency Act, you want to clamp down on a whole bunch of people, put them under martial law, let them be in a state of emergency. And the same goes for that food program. You don't feed our kids, Justin. You're not responsible for our kids, and they're not having anything to do with the government. You can take your government and keep them the fuck out of our lives. We parents will take care of our children. You do not. We are not China. We are not going to just hand over our kids when they're like two to the Chinese army and just let them do the rest. No, <laughs> that's what they do too. And that's what he wants. This is a step in that direction. Mark my words. He is a very, very leftist fucker. And he's, he's insinuated himself in so much. And I'm sorry, I must have been like on, I'm just gonna say on crack. Um, apparently he legal or decriminalized crack heroin probably fentanyl too for fuck's sakes how many people have to die with those hard drugs are you kidding me i know people that have died my son died you know like and and it's hard drugs and it it killed me you know and it killed him literally my baby boy you know and he'd be in his you know mid-30s now and i miss him every day but they they can't they can't decriminalize crack, heroin, ecstasy, all these other things, and allow it to be out in the populace without, with all of the people, with the children out, so you can freely use drugs in front of kids now? Like, you know, I, I've smoked pot, you, you, you don't do it in front of them, like, you don't, you just don't, it's just not the thing to do. You don't, you don't subject them to that. It's not, it's not cool. And, you know, things can go wrong because, like, kids, if they think that it's okay to do crack when they're, like, they find out that at eight after they've been, you know, pumped full of bullshit from the drag queen story hours, which is another thing I got a problem with, we can't protest either about these things. You take God out of school and then you want to replace it with this shit and that's not okay and like there's people all over the world that are suffering and it's because of the world economic forum and the people that he's siding with our leaders are are you know leaning in the communistic socialist lean in that direction and that's a problem for everybody in a democracy <clears throat> excuse me everybody in democracy pardon me i'm just gonna get a little sip <laughs> I get dry when I talk. <laughs> <All right. laughs> but anyways, Bucker gave him a full raise. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tell me what you think in the comments. I pray somebody watches this. <laughs> I love all my 87 subscribers too. Thank you very, very much. Each and every one of you made me smile. Each and every time I saw my number go up, it made me smile. It just makes me happy. I'm not here to make money. I probably never will because I swear like a truck driver. Oh, fuck, I will It is what it is. <laughs> I just like it because I can actually almost like video call my friends and family doing this. They know how I feel about shit. They know what's going on in my life. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bought, bought the kid new shoes, right? <laughs> my grandson. Uh -huh. So, doesn't he get them soaked? And when he came in last night from, or yesterday from school, not last night, um, he came in from school and he was laying on the couch with me and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I didn't say that, but I was like, do you smell that? And then I went a little, just a little bit closer. I was like, oh, is that your feet? That's <laughs> And the, his feet had, 
you know the the oh, what do you call it the skin you know what it's like when you have a bath and your skin gets all uh, wrinkly kind of you know what I mean so his f foot was completely all like waterlogged and and looked white and and because <laughs> it was it was it had sat in I guess water all day in his shoes <laughs> yeah he can't find the other pair of shoes that I bought him not that long ago I mean like kids go through stuff like you wouldn't believe and oh oh speaking of which oh my fucking god Justin Trudeau spent twenty thousand dollars on lunch what and takes private planes nobody else in the plane but him what it's just beyond me and then they, they come in, they fuck with everything, and then they leave, and they get pensions for the rest of their lives. Mm, yay. They're fucking assholes. They don't deserve those pensions. We got pensions? No. Everybody's pensions got lowered and lowered and fucked around and capital gains. And blah, blah, blah. Like, tax the fucking shit out of the people who can afford it and leave the hardworking people alone. Just, we got kids, man. We have mouths to feed. You got shit. You live in like a mansion. You don't fucking know what it's like. You have no idea what it's truly like as a Canadian person in your economy that you fucking created. And not only that, but these protests that are going on all this time are your fault. If any terrorism happens in our country, it's your fault, Justin. I would swear on my life that that's probably what you would cause doing this. Because these people don't like us. A lot of them don't care. They're just here. They're happy they're here because they're getting stuff. And I'm sorry that's not right. If you can't give to Canadians, if you can't help homeless people here, then you don't invite people from other countries here. You help us first. You help the Canadian people. We need you to help us. You're not gonna, because all you're trying to do is slowly be like the spider web that creeps in everywhere. And everybody's now waking up to the fact that we know what you're doing. You want to you wanna herd us all into, like, little cities where we can't escape and, you know, herd us in like cattle. I, I, it's just baffling to me how you have the balls, the audacity to think that you can tell us where we can live. And what we can do. And your World Economic Forum? Are you people fucking ghoulish fucks? You really got a Machiavellian freaking thing going on with the world. Like, you guys are crazy. And Bill Gates and all the other fucking uber rich people. Take a long, hard suck on our asses. You don't run the show. You, you got rich. Big fucking deal. I could get rich winning a lottery. Does that mean I know about medicine or vaccines? You know shit. You're a computer guy. You don't know anything. Why are you making vaccines and lettuce? <laughs> Why are you even doing any of the things that you do? Why are you buying up farmland by the, you know, 100 acres at a time? That's not yours. Uh, that's the world's, you know? There's a lot of land that you guys just shouldn't have your freaking hands on. And, I, like, Hawaii is one of them. And they tried to buy it all away from those poor people that lost everything. Like, for, for dirt cheap. Those people, they went through the ringer, too. And the United States, oh, my God, don't even get me started. Their fucking politics are, are crazy, too. But, like, the the people coming across the border are really a problem there, and they're really a problem here. And I'm getting worried because they come here, and they don't have any kind of socialization to acclimate them to our life. Like, how we do things how we are supposed to act and how we don't ever ever grab a girl who's 12 and act like you know she could be your next girlfriend and you're like 22 from freaking far away migrant land no <laughs> get away from our daughters <laughs> i'm sorry about mm -mm -mm -mm. I have a daughter, and I, I just, I know there's beautiful women everywhere, and I don't like that there's little girls can be hurt, and, oh, I'm also sick of the fucking trans people wanting in the bathrooms. What the fuck is with the gay people and our fucking, our kids in the bathrooms and shit? What the fuck? <sighs> no, really. How is it okay to have a guy walking around during Pride with a dildo in his ass with a ponytail on it walking in the crowd 
with a leash around his neck and I'm sure you probably saw it it's, it's like just look up pride on on YouTube you'll probably find it because there's just so much footage of this shit they want to take love and you know compassion and caring and and even our religions away from us people spit on Christianity they wouldn't spit on any other religion in the whole world but they spit on Christianity now they're spitting on the Jews again I just I, I don't understand how you can invite a chaotic, violent Palestinians into our country who have been gunning for us for years. How are they not economic, you know, asylum seekers? They're not, or pardon me, seekers of, of uh, legitimate um, uh, citizenship. But they're not, you know, they shouldn't be citizens if they come over here and they do stuff like that. We should deport them immediately. And we should also socialize them. Like, there are people coming over. This is how we do it. You don't do this. You don't do that. The, and, and like, Justin, how much money did you fucking waste on that arrives scam um, shit? Like, how much money would have been in that for, you know, mouths to feed for these people? Like, you just wanted to make money and put it in your own fucking pockets. Like, government people and other people, you know shouldn't have their hands in any of our money through the government. You, you're a public official. You don't make money while you're in the job. You don't make money because of what you know or what you do in the government. That's bullshit. That's like insider trading in my, my books. That's just wrong. <laughs> you, aren't you making enough? <laughs> well, aren't we doing enough for you uh, with your raises and shit? So, hey, Justin. Fuck off and enjoy your big private Learjet or whatever the fuck you ride around in. And how much fucking money and, and gas and shit. You're, you're the biggest, uh, you know, carbon footprint on our, our society right now. <laughs> oh, in China. Oh, fuck. China. I saw this thing. I, I put it on Facebook because I'm not sure if it's true or not because like, you see it on uh, on YouTube and stuff. But I watch a lot of the news things now. I don't generally just look at comments or other people's videos to think of that as like the truth. But apparently, I, like I said, unsubstantiated. I allegedly, <laughs> and all of this is allegedly. These are all just my opinions. I don't know shit. I'm just a grandma from nowhere. <laughs> but. <laughs> allegedly China has the huge reservoir that is so huge that they're filling with water 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 so they're hoarding water first thing hmm. problem they're gonna fuck our water up that's what that means to me I'm I could be wrong but why do you want all the water that you can fucking get so much water that allegedly it's causing a little warble because the water weighs so much on that area of the world in China that it's causing a little teensy tilt. Who, have you not polluted enough? Who do you think you are to hoard water, one? And who are you to do that to Earth, if that's true? Oh, really? Oh my fucking God. <laughs> You people are dangerous motherfuckers. You polluted the shit out of your country, and you, you want to come here too and pollute the shit out of ours, and that's not going to happen either. Like, I, I, I have no racist thoughts about anybody, and I just want you to know that because of this Palestinian, you know, thing that I've been on talking about. Um, I, I feel bad for the Palestinian people there too. I do. I, and, and kids should never be subjected to this. War is hell for everybody. And I, I, I've known for years that they're very, very violent and, you know, Sharia law is in place in a lot of these places and there's no Sharia law here. And I, for one person, will die on that hill if I need to. That's a hill I, I'm willing to die on. Uh, not that I want to die. I'm just saying. It's, it's just a remark. Uh, it's like, it, that's the thing that means a lot to me. And I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to, you know, be that person. Anyways, all right. I guess I should let you go. It's been like 20 minutes you're hacking away here. I hope you're doing great. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I love you. Um, check out uh, DM Reacts. He's really good. He's He's got this accent, little Irish, little, don't you know, that's lovely. <laughs> and then uh, who else? Who else? Lazy. Oh, my God, when I'm having a shit day. 
Lazy, just type in L-A-Y-Z-E, or Z-E, whatever, <laughs> and uh, he'll pop right up. And he's got a couple of different channels, too. I'm lazy, la I'm actually lazy, <laughs> something like that, and then lazy, <laughs> but yeah, and there's uh, Mr. Sunshine Baby, oh my god, guys, Canadians, you gotta listen to this guy, get on there and, and have a little looky-loo at all the, the stuff that he gets for us, because you can go on his site, he's got the House of Commons stuff already taped and put up, you don't have to do shit, you just get to go in there and watch what Mr. Sunshine is looking at and see what's going on, and he's on the button, he's, he's got his finger on the button of what's happening and a lot of those people think we are so stupid and we're just willing to just roll over and uh, I am I'm uh, when I mentioned the Palestinian thing it's because they're rallying and rioting and stuff and they're causing dissension in our peaceful Canada and that is not okay you cannot like maybe not rioting that might be the wrong word but they're doing really strong protests we'll say and then the the problem with i'm having with palestinians is you don't come to canada and as palestinian wave your flag around and act like you're the lord of everything and then walk into a, a, a synagogue area and start harassing jewish peoples no not on my watch. No fucking way. I'll write letters. I'll fucking do what I gotta do. I'm a Canadian. I got stamps to lick. I mean, <laughs> okay, no, they have stickers now. I'm just kidding. But you know what I mean? Like, how do we not, you know, have a vote on things that happen in our world? And, and why do people think that they can pull such crap on us? But, uh, I don't know. Just have a great day. <laughs> All right. Bye. I love you. <laughs>